What's good YouTube, it's Anthony back at it with another video and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how, when, and where to cop the Air Jordan 5 Retro Raging Bull Red. This pair releases tomorrow, April 10th for a retail of $190 for men's, $140 for grade school, and they also have infant and toddler. Before we go into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like. Remember I post videos about every day now. I post resale predictions, how to cop videos like this one, shoe unboxings, reviews, Subscribe to stay up with your latest releases and there's lots of profit to be made on the shoe Whether you want to rock it sell it this shoe is going to be quite a hectic to release both in-store and online tomorrow We have your foot stores and foot sites like Foot Locker, Champs, East Bay, Foot Action They are all having an FLX raffle on the app. Make sure you guys enter that today They'll be doing an app reservations for stores near you. You can select up to three stores near you in your area and you can use your head start to increase your chances unfortunately at least for my area there was no finish line app raffle there usually is but i've heard a lot of people are getting late shipments in for this shoe but anyways stock is rumored to be about 140,000 nationwide on this release at least for online not quite sure about in-store again because there are a lot of late shipments in but for my area finish line is doing a first come first serve no raffle for this shoe but uh, some other stores are having late shipments and they'll probably have it like a week or two later. They might just do it like a raffle or just have it out on the shelves for whoever gets there first. Anyways, your best chances will be copying tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll have your foot sites and then finish line JD Sports. You have your Shopify, like Shot Nice Kicks, Undefeated, all those type of sites, even DTLR. But those sites, if you're a manual user like myself, your chances are pretty low not like impossible Shopify sites are easier to cop if you have a bot that's not the same for everyone but at least for my experiences I just stay away from Shopify and focus on JD Sports and Finish Line and maybe Foot, Out Lock Foot Locker because they've been doing like they've been switching up their queues and uh, waiting rooms lately it's just kind of confusing but JD Sports and Finish Line have stayed the same and just before that drop time of 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time they will open it up into like a queue and you just wait your turn until like after the drop. It's usually around like 10, 10, 10, 15. I usually get in, select my size, select my payment and check out. Hopefully my order goes through. Sometimes you get a ghost order or like it says like process, like denied. Just keep trying again, keep trying again. And maybe you'll get lucky and check out confirmed. Get your email, have it shipped out to your house. And then you can either wear them, sell them. You know the deal. This is a great shoe, classic, original. And you got that raging bolt. You got that nice red leather and suede. I think it's suede actually. But uh, Jordan 5s are an awesome shoe. Very comfortable. And you can't go wrong with the pair. On to sizing. The shoe fits true to size. And if you want to pick it up for a resale, like I will be doing, hopefully get a bunch of pairs on the second market like StockX and Goat. Pre-market sales like right now a day before the release. This shoe is ranging from about 300 upwards of 340 depending on the size. Greater sizes for Jordan 5s typically do better. Right, sizes right on like 10 and upwards of 13 I usually stick with. But for me, I'll be going for every size I can get tomorrow and every any size really I can get my hand on. And uh, every size will be profitable. Um, this shoe will move best locally through OfferUp, Facebook, all those type of sites. You can do like uh, advertisements, whatever, just like local people. Or if you cannot sell it local, I would resort to StockX or GOAT, whichever one is paying higher and has more sales for that. Just dump it off there and take your profit and go. Even though it might be a few bucks less, it is still going to be profitable on your secondary market like that. So yeah, again, I would try on your Foot Locker apps, your FLX app reservations for that. You can enter for all your sites there. There's like four or five apps you can enter for different sizes, different chances. You can get up for like five to 10 pairs just on those apps for all for retail you pick up the day of release the 10th tomorrow anytime usually it's in the afternoon there's sometimes like a time frame and then um they also do leftovers the day next for like finish line and then two days usually for foot locker they always switch it up i would just call ahead if you are interested in doing that i will hopefully be doing an in-hand review of this shoe when i get them in i don't really see why not i shouldn't be able to get my hands on this pair There'll be a lot of stock usually and lots of places are releasing them in store and online. Hopefully I can get lucky and hopefully you guys can cop that size you are hoping to get. And I hope you guys all cop for retail. And yeah, that wraps up today's video guys. Please smash that subscribe button and like button if you like these videos. 
I do how to cops, reviews, shoot predictions, everything shoot content, subscribe and I got you guys. I always stay up to tune with the latest releases. So if you want to learn more about that, hit that subscribe button and I'm out. See you guys on the next one. Peace.